Hi, I'm Autumn Payne. And I'm Sayer Morgan. Are we sleeping? Well, this is my first year at ITS. And this is my second year, but the first year I did not perform. So it was a nerve-wracking experience going in front of people who you don't know and are judging you in the right ways. Um, <laughs> I, I got really connected with all these fine people behind me and the chaperones who were there too. They were really cool. Not like any other field trip or, yeah. Um, it was a really growing experience. I, family right here and um, me and Sarah, um, it was a really hard task trying to learn such a scene since we do play mentally challenge people, but we had um, chaperones who have more experience than us and taught us how to portray the characters and really <coughs> get to grow as such a character. Um, not to pick, you know, not to split hairs, but it sounds like you just called your chaperones mentally challenged. Yeah, it's, it's, it's <laughs> sometimes. <laughs> sometimes. <laughs> she was talking about you. Yeah. Especially. Right. Um, Especially. <laughs> yeah. We're in a slate now. Well, yeah. Hi. Hey, see from Boys Next Door. Um, Autumn has a crush on Sayers' character, and this is their first official date. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Hi, I'm Autumn Payne. And I'm Sayer Morgan. And we are performing a scene from The Boys Next Door, written by Tom Griffin. Tom Griffin, and we are proud <laughs> to represent troop number seven nine. Four nine. Hi, Sheila. Hey, Norman. Hi, Sheila. <laughs> hey, Norman. Hi, Sheila. My name's Norman Belansky. Welcome to my home. Won't you take a seat? This is real nice, Norman. It's, it's real cozy. My name's Norman Belansky. Won't you take a seat? I take these for you. I got them. <laughs> okay. Um, they're very pretty. Um, you're welcome very much. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. I picked them near that lot near the Getty station. You know that lot? Getty gas. That's good gas. Uh, would you please like a donut? Maybe I should get a jar or something to put them in. No, I got them on plates and piles. See? <laughs> they won't fit in a jar. Gee, Norman, I mean the flowers. Oh. Oh, boy. I thought you wanted a jar or something for the donuts. Oh, boy. I'm sure silly. Would you please like a donut? Well, maybe I'll have one, thank you. <laughs> they call this one honey dip, but I'll tell you a secret. It's not real honey. <laughs> I told Arnold that, and he said we should pick it. Maybe you should get a jar or something and put them in. I'll go get a jar or something. <laughs> Norman, this is real nice. It's real cozy. We don't have stuff in the wall in our home. We used to, but how with the take cheese paper sometimes is awful. <laughs> Boy, you bet. One time she ate a picture of God. God and all his friends eating. We we still have the frame, but God's all eaten up. She ate a picture of God? Oh boy. Uh uh, oh, uh, uh, Sh Sheila, are the flowers under me? Do you remember? I got them in that lot near the Getty station. Oh, Getty gas. That's good gas. Uh, uh, Sheila, I think I'm very sorry. I just wanted for me to have a donut and for us to talk. That's okay, Norman. But I feel awful bad about them, Sheila. That's, that's how come we get them for free. Uh, would you please like a donut? I had spaghetti for supper. <laughs> Sheila, I got you this present. Can I have the bows? No, I want them. They're pretty. <laughs> uh, open it. Oh, Norman, I feel a jumpy. Me too. Can I have the bows? <laughs> no, I want... Hold on, let me guess. Is it a frog? No. Uh, oh, a frog. A frog would be hard to wrap. <laughs> hey, Normie, you're silly. You got me keys? Yeah, 
Put, put them on your belt. Which side? Whichever side makes you feel more comfortable. Um, Jack, he got me the ring. It's made of metal. And, and Arnold, he got me all the keys. They were at the movie theater and they weren't using them anymore. And Lucian, he got me the itty bitty tiny key. And he got it from his diary, but he can't write, so who cares? <laughs> Welcome to Norman Belansky. Come again.